Oh, hey guys. Just repelling today. All right. Guys, well, know. this is, um, we're up in the roof of my garage where we have our ropes uh, set up from our anchor points on the top with, uh, between the two trusses up here. We have two lines so that we can each repel at the same time. And uh, why you can carry on what we have on our harnesses. Well, on our harnesses we have some carabiners to hold our uh, belaying and repelling devices. Uh, uh, he's got an ATC, which is a little bit more new and doesn't go as fast as the figure eights when you're repelling, but the figure eights were really popular a little while ago. So Before the ATCs really uh, had a chance to come out. Yep, and so the ATCs are newer and they're a lot easier to work with, but the figure eights are a lot faster. Okay, so now we're going to go and show you how we have our rope set up. Okay, so let's start with the clips. What's gonna? We have opposing clips to make sure really nothing can go wrong. We have a, we have a figure eight on the on the line to make it one of the most dependable uh, knots ever. So and then again with the minimal of two things, we have a doubled uh, one inch webbing on and two of those. So pretty much we have four almost, and then that comes down to a single point with the same amount of stretch. So if one tears, you have a ton of backups with the opposing clips because we have all the locking carabiners on our harnesses. Um, so that makes, so that is that. We have a locking on, on this one, as you may be able to see, in the same pretty much system. One is really holding all the weight, the other one is if that one tears. And then another figure eight, and then, of course, we have the rope ladder, which Wyatt is swinging on. That's how we get up. Uh, unless if you're my sister, you use that. Or, or you're his sister. Either one. So, that's pretty much our setup, and we have a little seat as we tore apart a playground swing that we had. Um, and then, what? Hopefully there's rocks on this wall. It's gonna be pretty difficult. You gotta start in a futile position. I get a good... And if you fall, there's mattresses underneath you. So, this is pretty much the, thing, the strength in our rock climbing. So we pretty much just practice and a lot, and then when you, once you win, you drop. It's pretty straightforward. Right. We have to switch up the things a lot so that we don't get too used to it and can beat it too easy. We have to make it harder and harder progressively. So that's pretty much our setup, guys. I hope you liked it. If you want to use it, you can. Not saying you have to do our exact setup. It's just what we use. Okay. So.